welcome to another World of Tanks subscriber replay. My name as always is Maxwell and today's video is from the user SOS101. That's SOS101. He's driving the T150 or the T150 on an encounter battle on the steps and the T150 is the tier 6 Russian heavy tank and uh, not seen very often in players. A lot of people tend to favour the KV1S or it's or the uh, the other variant which basically misses out the T150 so I don't think I've done a replay on this tank before so we're going to be interested to see what it is capable of and what it can achieve in battle now I do know it has a decent hit point pull and has some very good front armor and side armor so this thing should be able to withstand a bit of punishment before going down. So just going to be doing the standard and taking up a position amongst the rocks on the far left hand flank here. Looks like the enemy has neglected this area somewhat and decided to take more of a route across the middle. Just going to see if we can catch this 1S unawares. Unfortunately the 1S and yes can indeed catch him unawares looking in the wrong direction. Able to get a good hit on his tracks. KV-1S not spending enough time aiming there and missing. Luckily the T-150 looks like he has a much faster reload speed. Uh, not quite as much damage. Although it looks like the 1S isn't the fully upgraded cannon. So he's not really going to be able to achieve much. And he's going to be able to finish him off there with another shot. So it looks like the reload speed on this cannon is significantly faster than the fully upgraded 1S. Although the damage is significantly lower. Having a shot there before he'd fully, before the reticule had fully locked on, so just about missing that T14. This one though should be able to take him out, no problem. So what is this? This is a Type T34, the Chinese medium. He's not going to be much of a match for the T150. Just get this track taken out and then having to fall back. Letting his ally tank destroyer have a shot there before he pokes his head out and ooh, tries to finish him off, but unfortunately just missing there. So wait for his gun to reload. It should be a case of just finish this guy off. And there we go. Third kill picked up on this far left hand flank. Now it looks like the enemy hasn't pushed too far forward here. So they are maybe committing more of their forces to the central base defence, although it's not really base defence. Nice shot. As that isn't the capture point. The capture point's all the way on the right hand flank there. So I'm not sure what the enemy is doing. It seems that they just decided to... Brilliant shot there. Looks like the enemy just kind of decided to sit in their spawn area and not really move. So I'm not really 100% sure what the thinking behind that one was. But certainly that isn't what I would have chosen to do in this match. In these circumstances. Just going to be able to kill this KV-1. No problem. KV-1 having a little bit of indecision of who he's going to shoot at. But obviously a KV being a KV, if when you think you've got him dead, he's still able to bounce that last shot there. So I was just about to say, nobody really making a move for the capture point yet, just as the enemy decides to make a move for the capture point. As you can see, the allies have got their tanks mo mostly ranged across those hills there to defend anybody who rushed across the centre. But it looks like the enemy's now put some tanks in that capture point, so they're going to have to send someone over to do something about it. Brilliant takeout of that Churchill Mark 1 there, just finishing him off and picking himself up his sixth kill. Now this KV-1 is still alive. As I say that, he gets taken out by the Churchill. So the KV-1 is no longer alive. T-150 has been able to take a bit of a battering here, as you can see. Ooh, so unlucky. Just hitting the ground there instead of the SU-85B. But it looks like with the super reload speed, this Covenanter should be able to get around behind him and take, uh, take him out. No problem. The Covenanter obviously having the same gun as the Churchill Mark III, the premium Lend-Lease version. So, as I was saying, as you can see, the T-150 is able to take a pretty large kicking and still come out fighting. Taking less than half his hit points after getting shot quite a few times. And picking up six kills for himself. Just going to see if he can get a shot on this Matilda. It's quite a distance away, 499 metres, but should, if he gives his gun long enough to load, should be able to get a hit on him. As we can see there, amazingly being able to take out his tracks, unfortunately, because his tracks were taken out, he stopped moving, and because he stopped moving, he has stealthed. 
Just going to have another random shot just to see if he can get him before his tracks repair and then going to be heading across the plains. Just going to speed it up a little bit until we get back into the action. But to be honest, there's only a tank destroyer and the that Matilda left there. So shouldn't be too difficult to wrap this game up and get a win. You can see the M4 coming in to take out that Hertzer and there he goes. So it's just this Matilda left, but as you can see, the Covenant of the M4 and their allied hurts are uh, steaming around the corner there to put an end to his day. So absolutely brilliant replay there from SOS 101 in his T150, showing that it may not be the ugly stepchild of the group, but it may actually be a decent tank after all. So thank you very much for sending that replay, and thank you very much to you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time.